Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to cover about um, TOGAF 10th edition. So TOGAF released this 10th edition, earlier version was 9.2. And most of our uh, um, subscribers asked about like how we can achieve this TOGAF 10 certification exam. So in this video, I'm going to cover like uh, what are all the uh, new changes and how you can take this exam. And uh, suppose if you already took this uh, TOGAF 9.1 or 9.2, how you can upgrade yourself to TOGAF 10, okay? So for this video, I have to share a couple of uh, information. So let me go and start sharing my screen. So hope you can uh, see my screen here. And... Um, so if you look at this uh, TOGAF uh, certification portfolio, you can see the certifications included in the portfolio. The TOGAF 9 Foundation and TOGAF 9 Certified um, were explained in one of my previous videos. You can go and uh, watch that video. I will provide the link in the description below. So what we are going to focus here is um, TOGAF Enterprise Certification um, Exam for Art Teacher Foundation and TOGAF Enterprise Art Teacher Practitioner and uh, TOGAF Business Architecture Foundation. These three are the new uh, TOGAF uh, 10 edition certifications, okay? So I will go over one by one, and then uh, we can see where you can download the material for preparing the exam. Um, and also, if you don't know like how to register for the exam, just uh, put in the comment box below, I can uh, guide you like how to register for the exam, okay? Um, so what is the difference here? Uh, between 2.9.2 uh, and 2.10, the difference is um, there are some documentation change and also they elaborated a little bit on the each core concept and also they included um, microservice architecture exam and also specific uh, category exams like you know business architecture exam, all those stuffs. But overall, the material what you have for 9.2 is um, uh, sufficient, but uh, if there are some questions related to a particular change what happened in uh, TOGAP 10, you can refer this change uh, um, material, okay? But uh, suppose if you started preparing already for TOGAP uh, 9.2, you don't need to worry about uh, preparing again freshly for TOGAP 10, okay? Whatever you have been preparing, that's good, okay? You continue doing that. And uh, in addition to that, go and look at the change what they in introduced in TOGAF 10. The, there, are, there are not many changes, it's very less changes on the documentation side and also like a little bit uh, uh, explanation changes and also the uh, materials, additional materials they included, that's it, okay? The core concept, the phases of um, uh, TOGAF, it's all same, okay? You don't need to worry about uh, uh, too much on the um, content of this TOGAF material, okay? So coming to this TOGAF uh, Enterprise um, Architecture Foundation exam, what exactly it is um, um, talking about? So basically the TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Foundation exam is uh, covering the foundation certification. You, you, you Suppose if you complete the exam, you can come to know about like uh, what are all the basic uh, um, enterprise architecture approach and um, how you can contribute as a um, architect, enterprise architect and architecture project. All those steps are explained in this um, uh, material. And also when you take this exam, you will gain those knowledge, okay? And uh, competencies are provided in this section. You can go over, I'll share the link in the description below. And target audience, um, the the descriptions are given below. You can go over. I don't want to go over and bore you out in the uh, video. And the value of the certification also given below. And I want to touch specifically on the examination part. Like if you look at this examination, the examination name is the TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Part 1 examination. Um, and the type is the multiple choice question. Um, there will be 40 questions. You have to complete that 40 questions in 60 minutes. And if you are able to uh, score 24 uh, right answers and then you will be passed that is uh, that is equivalent to 60 percent of uh, the total marks so uh, it is supervised and it is not an open book test and uh, you can take this exam from your home or 
you can book a, a prometric center uh, like a pearson view or on view delivery you can uh, i i'll provide the link below to you know re register for the exam all the steps and study track they have given a very good material i'll provide the link below to um, download the material and um, uh, go through the material for preparing this exam okay and once after completing this exam and if you are able to get 60% of the marks um, then uh, you will get the certification certification will get published with your name in the open group uh, site okay and uh, Going back, the second exam in TOGAF 10 is TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Practitioner exam. So basically, um, these two exams, Foundation and Practitioner, are equivalent to TOGAF 9 Foundation and Certified exam. Okay. So in case of TOGAF 9, if you complete TOGAF 9 Foundation exam, uh, you will get only the Foundation certification. And uh, along with that, if you complete uh, Certified exam, you will get um, the uh, TOGAF uh, 9.2 certified uh, um, certification, right? But same, same as uh, 9.2, the TOGAF 10 has two certifications, um, TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Foundation and the TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Practitioner. We saw about foundation. Um, we talked about the pattern of the exams, multiple choice question. It's not an open book test. You have to score at least 60%. Uh, there will be like um, uh, 40 questions. You have to score at least 24 questions correct to pass this exam, right? And um, moving to the practitioner exam, this is uh, equivalent to the certified exam of 9.2. Okay, to get 9.2. So you will get deeper knowledge of uh, each area, each phases of architecture, and uh, competencies are provided here, target audience. Uh, you must complete um, the foundation exam to take this practitioner exam, okay? Um, that is a prerequisite. Um, if you come to the examination part, uh, the examination is to get enterprise architecture part one. Uh, this one can be taken separately or combinedly. Uh, here in this practitioner, they have given the combined format. Uh, if you look at the highlighted one, examination name is uh, to get uh, enterprise architecture part one the one that we tagged uh, just now and the second one the TOGAF enterprise architecture part two okay so uh, this has like eight questions you will be given 90 minutes and you should score at least um, uh, 60 percent and it is a supervised exam and uh, it is open book test you will be provided a pdf copy of the documentation as that of the uh, TOGAF 9.2 certified exam. And uh, once you complete this part one and part two, you will get a certification of TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Practitioner. Okay. So this is the certification you will get after completing this exam. Okay. So basically, uh, as I said earlier, uh, TOGAF 9.2 Foundation and Certified are equivalent to TOGAF Enterprise Architecture Foundation and Practitioner exam. Okay. The third type is a uh, business architecture foundation. This was added in uh, TOGAF 10. It is not there in uh, TOGAF 9.2 or 9.1 version. So basically, this focuses only on the business architecture. Okay. So I think uh, the open group is planning to introduce more certifications uh, on each area like business architecture, data architecture, technology architecture, application architecture and um, uh, information and uh, operations architecture, all those steps. But I think they started with business architecture. So this is optional or if you want to get TOGAF certified as the top 9.2, you can just complete only these two exams as the top TOGAF 9.2. And if you are focused on uh, business architecture certification, you can take this exam. So how this exam format looks like, similar to the, our uh, Enterprise Architecture Foundation exam. Uh, 40 questions uh, will be given. You have to score at least 24 questions correct to get 60% and get the certification. Okay. Um, so this is about uh, TOGAF uh, 10 exams. Um, and uh, we can go to the documentation part now. So once after creating your account, what you can do, you can... Um, click on this link to get the down uh, get the materials downloaded okay so i already logged in 
and I added that uh, topic to the downloaded uh, section. So if you look at this, um, the TUCAP um, standard 10th edition is available to download and it is a bundle. So if you download this, you will get a zip file. And if you open that zip file, you can uh, see this material here. So you will get all the chapters uh, in PDF format. You can uh, go through the PDF and start reading. Say how um, enterprise architecture is uh, defined and what are all the key parts of this enterprise architecture. Everything is given in the documentation. You can uh, go through this documentation and uh, uh, understand all the concepts provided. This is very nice documentation. They made a lot of changes to the uh, pictures and um, understanding aspects. Everything got improved uh, compared from uh, TAGAP 9.2 to TAGAP 10. So um, it is uh, always to uh, go through this documentation before the exam and understand the concept uh, um, before booking for the exam. Okay. And one more thing. Um, I wanted to say here, like uh, I completed TOGAF 9.2 certification. So should I take this TOGAF 10 uh, from the scratch? And this was the question asked by one of our friends here in this channel. Uh, answer to this question is you don't need to take this TOGAF 10th edition starting from the scratch. Okay. Um, so if you already completed TOGAF 9.2 certification exam, and if you got certified, uh, the only thing is you can do a bridge course. Okay, so that is given by this um, open group. Uh, so if you look at this, this is a bridge path. In the bridge path, uh, the examination pattern is very simple. Okay, you may need to take two take two exams. Like one is um, six and one. They will ask like 10 multiple choice questions and you will be given 20 minutes. Here also the same concept. You have to pass uh, at least, uh, you have to get 60% uh, to pass this exam. And the section two, you will be asked four questions and you will be given 40 minutes and you, you must score 60%, okay? So this 60% is combined uh, uh, result of this section one and section two. And but in the section one also there is a minimum percentage to pass okay i think this is 60 percent and here also you should get 60 percent so that totally you will get 60 percent to pass this exam and for section one uh, you cannot use this uh, open book um, and section two it is uh, open book test okay and uh, the delivery option you can take this exam from your home or you can go to the promotic center and take this exam okay uh, so we covered the three major parts, right? One, how this TOGAF 9 uh, differs from TOGAF 10. Not much changes, only the documentation changes and little bit changes are there that you can go and understand in this link. I have provided um, this link also in the description. You can see what are all the changes um, in um, TOGAF 10 versus TOGAF 9.2. Uh, it's a, I don't want to present it as a um, presentation or kind of a chart. It is important to go through this uh, page and understand so that you can clearly uh, differentiate between TOGAP 10 and TOGAP 9.2. That is one part. And second part, um, how this TOGAP 9.2 differs from TOGAP 10 exam? The same uh, similar pattern, like basically you take to get foundation, nine foundation and certified to get certified into gap. And in case of 10th edition, you have to take enterprise architecture foundation and the architecture practitioner exam. Okay. It's similar to foundation certified in 9.2. That is the second aspect. And third aspect, how we can um, uh, take this uh, business architecture foundation exam. Uh, you, you will be given like um, uh, 40 questions out of which you will score like 24 to pass this exam. Uh, so this is just focusing on business architecture foundation. Okay. And the fourth one uh, I touched upon how you can download the 
material for preparing the exam right i have provided the link in the description below you can go and uh, explore it and the last one what i touched is uh, what exactly the difference between 9.2 and togap 10 edition uh, the detailed explanation is given by this open group uh, foundation you can uh, go and read through it's a couple of pages you can understand what exactly the difference is um, and the last one is uh, when you um, want to upgrade your TOGAF 9.2 to TOGAF 10 you can you don't need to take this TOGAF 10 from the scratch but you can go through the bridge course or bridge exam uh, the link is uh, given below in the de uh, description you can go and explore it the bridge path also explained uh, in detail so bridge path is very simple you don't need to spend uh, like uh, two hours three hours to complete the exam just um, uh, 20 minutes for the section one and 40 minutes for the section two right and uh, if you are uh, in the journey of preparing and taking this TOGAF exam and if you already covered TOGAF 9.2 uh, materials you don't need to worry about it whether i have to start everything from the scratch for TOGAF 10 no you can use that knowledge or whatever the effort you put for preparing the exam, use that knowledge that is sufficient. But uh, only thing is you just understand what the difference uh, between 9.2 and 10 is very minimal difference. And uh, you can confidently and go and take the exam. Hope this video is useful for you. And if you need any other help, please uh, put in the comment box below. We can connect again. Take care. Bye.